I always say IIT is a bit like a dictionary, that everybody uses the same terms, and as well as a dictionary, it's a grammar book as well. So if you're going to talk about a country, use the same codes for, to describe the same country, and then you'll structure your data in the very same way. It doesn't mean your data says the same thing, um, it just means that you, the way you format it, the way you put it together, is useful then to bring it together and, and compare and, 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 and use across different organisations. So IIT is that dictionary grammar book that helps organisations understand the data that's in their systems and how they want to put that out using IIT. So if we imagine that those 600 data sets from 600 different organisations currently sit uh, or sit in isolation, they don't talk to each other. One organisation publishes their data, another organisation publishes their own data. They share the same standard but there are no links between them. And traceability is all, all about how you make links between data sets just in the same way you make links between web pages on, on the internet uh, as we used to many years ago. So where IIT is really interesting at the moment is organisations are trying to link their data together and that means being very particular and very precise about describing organisations as partners and how funds flow from one project to another project. And that's happening across the piece at the moment with, um, with a donor organisation, an implementing organisation, are beginning to share how they publish their, their information, exchange key bits of information and therefore make those links happen. And once the links are there, once there's a link between one data set and another, it helps those using the data to see the, the traceability, to see the flow of funds, of partners, of results, for example.